starting to feel like that point in the trip where, you know, the anticipation of coming on a road trip and sort of the excitement of making images is starting to wear off a little bit. Um, the weather kind of set in there for a day. It's very grey and rainy, but it's patches of blue sky now and I'm in a new area, so I think the excitement is building up again. And I'm just trying to keep that mindset of Keep being curious. are still set in uh, early this morning so I'm just gonna wait see if conditions improve for this evening or the next morning so often this uh, little game of landscape photography is all of our patience here of three weeks. Uh, Scotland's just been a joy and a pleasure and yeah I'm making my way south um, and I'm gonna make a stop off in Yorkshire, uh, meet a friend and go on a bit of a, a little photography wonder. I'm um, not sure if I'll film that but otherwise yeah the trip's been amazing and I'm very excited to come back up in uh, two or three weeks time. So we'll see if autumn color has progressed and explore a bit more of uh, the Northwest. Welcome to the image review portion of chapter three from the West Highlands. Uh, just three images today printed out, uh, overheads all set up, let's jump in. 
So this first image, let me get the glare off a little bit there for you. Oh, it's, this, is, this might be my favorite from the trip. Um, the dramatic lighting through some atmosphere. There's a little bit of rain falling just on the top of the mountain there. This distant ridge line giving a little bit of depth to the image. Otherwise, I think it would have been quite flat. But just that ridge line there gives it enough depth. Some nice textures in the clouds. Um, yeah, dark foreboding foreground, I think is quite nice. Um, but there's enough texture in there just to keep your eye moving, You're constantly finding little shapes and details of rock. And then there is a little a, a hint at a waterfall falling down this valley here. But yeah, I think overall it's a, a really successful image and the print itself came out probably, I think, my favorite print uh, as an object from uh, all 14 that I did. This was, I think, suit Hanamula Photorag Barisa fantastically. Um, and yeah, I could see this one being blown up fairly large. Moving on, uh, this image was made on the last day of the trip. Um, I didn't do any behind the scenes, but it's this beautiful lock in the foreground, and then the light was sort of spilling through uh, what must have been a small gap in the clouds and sort of illuminating the bowl in the mountain. But it looks as though the light is actually emanating from the mountain itself. So it's quite an interesting quite an interesting image, um, and I do like it as a print very much. I think, though, that this portion of the top left hand corner of uh, the clouds could do with a bit of work. Um, there's a touch of texture there, and I think that could be brought out more. Otherwise, overall, I'm, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Uh, and again, I think the foreground, really similar to this corner of the clouds, could do with a bit of work. I'm not sure if I like the uh, the darker foreground or if there's actually a, quite a bit more brightness in the original file I edited this darker. Um, I wasn't sure if that would be distracting or not, but it's certainly something I might play with uh, and try another print. Right, last one, nice and short uh, for this this video. So uh, a square image, and this is just a detail shot from the same uh, same location as the last image, but with dramatically different lighting. So we've got this amazing side lighting with light rays, um, yeah, just catching that face of the mountain. A lot more detail in the clouds, and overall a different balance of uh, tonality in the photograph. I think they're both successful in different ways. Um, and for that reason, I think it was worth printing both, even though they're from a very similar location and, uh, I mean, the same subject. Yeah, so that's uh, the three images from the West Highlands, chapter three of uh, my trip to Scotland. Do let me know what you think of these. Obviously, three black and white images, no color uh, from this portion of the trip. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some, a little something out of the short print review at the end, a little insight into how I'm thinking about image making and printmaking in particular. So thanks very much for watching. Cheers.